What's up guys, Chris here from Security Bros, back with another video. And today we are taking a closer look at the Defender Guard Pro 2K Wi-Fi Bullet IP camera. Is it any good? Let's find out. So what we got here is a very easy to use home Wi-Fi security camera from Defender and you can use this as a standalone camera and record to the built-in micro SD card and access the recordings and all the camera settings from the Defender app. I would say the image quality is a bit improved compared to the 2 megapixel version. At daytime you might be able to identify people if they are not too far away from the camera. However at night it's kind of hard to see any details, especially when something is moving. It does help a bit when using the built-in spotlights for full color night vision. But overall I think this is a decent budget Wi-Fi camera and I didn't have any issues with the camera over the few days I tested it. And the build quality seems to be good even though it's made of plastic and I'm sure it will last a long time being placed outdoors. So at the moment when I record this video the camera sells for $99 with a pre-installed 32GB microSD card. And for full transparency to you guys, Defender sent me this camera over for review. However any opinions in this video are strictly my own based on my experiences testing this camera out. And if you're interested in buying this camera you will find my affiliate links in the video description below with the most updated prices. So the camera uses a 4 megapixel sensor that records in 2560 by 1440 at 25 frames per second and it comes with a 2.8mm lens which gives you a wide field of view. And this camera supports human detection which really helps reduce false alarms and I think it worked ok. And by using the Defender app you can get instant push notifications to your phone when motion is detected which you can then view directly in the app from playback saved on the micro SD card. And you can have the camera to record 24 7 or only when motion is detected. And it supports up to 256GB micro SD card. You should be able to connect the camera to most brands NVRs or software that supports Onviv. And I did connect it to Onviv Device Manager without any problems. However it do needs to be connected using a network cable to use Onviv. And it comes with a speaker and a microphone so you can talk and listen through the camera. And this is how it sounds like when I talk through the camera. You can also use an alarm siren to scare away any intruders. For night vision the camera uses infrared lights for normal black and white night vision with a range up to 30 meters. And the camera can also record in full color at night using the two spotlights. So you have four different night vision modes. Smart night vision which means the camera will turn on the spotlights when motion is detected. Color night vision which means the spotlights will stay on all night. Then infrared night vision and you can also turn all night vision off. And this camera is made for outdoor use with IP67 rating so it should be weatherproof and the working temperatures are minus 30 to 60 degrees celsius. So what we get in the box is the camera, power adapter, extension cord, quick start guide, drill plate, weatherproof connector cover and a bag with screws. On the front of the camera we got a lens, two spotlights, infrared lights that we can't see right now, the indicator light and the microphone. And under the camera we got the speaker and under this cover we got the SD card slot and the reset button. And to access the camera through the app is really easy. So first we need to download app from either Google Play Store or App Store depending on what device you are using. When you have the app open tap on the plus icon to scan the QR code on the camera and follow the on screen instructions. So in here we can pause live view, view multiple cameras, change the image quality, turn on and off audio and full screen. In view history record we get all the recordings on the micro SD card. Here we can take a snapshot, talk through the camera, record video, turn on the siren and the spotlights. And up in the top right corner we got all the camera settings and I will just quickly show you the important ones. In notifications we can turn on and off push notifications. In detection we can turn on motion detection and human detection, set a schedule, detection sensitivity and detection zones. In local storage we can format the SD card and in local storage rule we can turn on 24-7 recording or set a recording schedule. 
In night vision we can select the night vision mode we want or adjust the light sensor. And I think that's about it, let's have a look at some recordings. Here we got daytime recording 2560 by 1440 at 25 frames per second with audio turned on. And here I am at around 10-15 meters from the camera. And here's a clip when a car drives by. This is nighttime using infrared lights, also recorded with the highest image quality with audio turned on. And here I test the full color night vision using the spotlights. And when a car drives by at night. Here I test the human detection and as you can see I'm using mobile data here. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video and if you're interested in more videos like this, why not hit that subscribe button and give the video a like and I see you in the next one.